Hi everyone, welcome to chendu.org. In today's video tutorial, I would like to show you how to create a dynamic hyperlink in Excel. In one of my recent training programs, a participant has asked this question. So they have a set of values like this and they would like to place a link somewhere. And if you click on the link, it would take you to the last value in the list. So if the list had a few more values, then you need to take him to the last value. So here is a link that would do that. It would take me to this value. But if I had a few more values, then it would take me to that value. This kind of setup is probably useful when you have a large table and you are showing totals at the bottom or something like that. You can create a link that is dynamic in nature such that even if your table had more rows of information, the link would appropriately take you to the last row where the information is available. You can even consider this kind of setup where you have reports uh, with sections that are growing and shrinking, right? So let me just show how this technique works. First up, let me show you uh, that how to set up a link in Excel. For example, if I write, uh, click here to learn Excel and I can select that cell and press Control K. Control K stands for insert hyperlink or alternative go to insert menu and choose the hyperlink button this one you can see that the same shortcut control k is mentioned there so from here you can link to any web page for example we could link this to my website chendu.org slash wp and here will be a hyperlink if you click on it excel chendu.org website would be opened in in your browser now how would you link to a different section in the same workbook pretty simple you can go to the same thing instead of that control K instead of choosing existing file or web page you can select place in this document so you can choose uh, a cell address or a cell reference name for example you can say uh, instead of a1 here we can type uh, Z34 and if I click on this it will take me to that cell Z34 like that this is a very simple way to create a hyperlink in Excel. But the problem with this approach is that this approach means the cell address that you are giving is static in nature. You cannot really link to a dynamic cell. So in this case, the list will have values in the column B and we would like to highlight the last value in column B. Thankfully, there is an alternative. There is a formula called hyperlink. Uh, hyperlink and the location of the link so you could put HTTP and you would see a, you, a link like this if you click on it it would take you to that URL this is the hyperlink formula right instead of giving the website address if I give the file path and cell address then it should take me to the cell location for example here we can give this as the current workbook name is dynamic hyperlink so you can uh, dynamic hyperlink dot xls right that is the workbook name and then the worksheet name should be kept in single quotes so single quote dynamic hyperlink and then the cell address whatever address you want so you can put z34 i think we should put an exclamation mark between that and then whatever description you want jump to z34 so now if i click on this it should take me to z34 cell address pretty simple right so instead of hard coding the entire address we could keep this portion dynamic so that our formula jumps to the last address last cell in this list how do we do this very simple you can select this cell and you can see the formula i have written hyperlink of dynamic help hyperlink.xls dynamic hyperlink and exclamation b since the address is in the column b and then i am just doing a count a count a will count all the values in a list so in this uh, uh, in this count a of column b to b plus one why am i adding a plus one because there is an extra value here so if i do this then i get to know the address of the cell uh, B12 so if I click here it will be B12 if we add a few more values like Voldemort and 
is Snape. We can add Snape once again. And then it will take me to the last value. If I copy a few more and paste them here, it will just select the last value. So that is how you can uh, dynamically create a link to the last value in a cell. If you want to automate even the file name portion, here you can see that the file name is actually entered here. So if I save this file with a different name, then it wouldn't work. You can use this formula and use the cell formula within double quotes file name to extract the file name and then just extract the portion for that file name. Similarly for the worksheet name also, you can use a formula to do this. I hope you found this lesson interesting. If you would like to learn Excel and become awesome in it, I encourage you to visit my site chendu.org slash WP uh, to learn more. You can also consider joining my Excel school program. For that in the download file, just click on the green link and you would become awesome in Excel. I wish you a great day ahead. This is Chandu and see you again. Bye-bye.